All right, guys, good morning to all of you. I'm going to run the Dirt Devil Dynamite. I'm going to run the Dirt Devil Dynamite plus for you guys. So let me go ahead here and get that started here. Go ahead and get the cord unwound so I can get ready to plug her in. I think last time I used it, I turned it off, I believe. Let me see here, guys. We'll find out when I plug it in if it starts up. Right off the bat, it starts screaming like a man. Well, oh, it's turned off. I don't want to have to have it start up right away. So I want to be able to vacuum a little bit with it. But, yeah, guys, I know it's been a minute since I last made any videos on this thing, so... Like I said, guys, I've been just been busy running about on the scooter, and I apologize to all of you guys. I've been dealing with the uh, icing wheel company on the light, the tail light problem, the controller issue with the for the lights, guys. Like I said, I've just been dealing with that. And thank you for all 485 of you guys, and feel free to tell your friends about my channel, guys, because like I said, there will be. And there is going to be leaf vacuum content, so here we go, guys. Found a penny. Yeah. But lucky day they acted me. <laughs> and they say if you find a penny, it's typically good luck, so that's still you. Mm height adjustment because in the kitchen I have a hammer so what I'm thinking guys is I'll tap that back in there and it should stay let's see okay here we go I don't want to break the plastic though I just want to tap her in and get her in there and that's it you know usually that's what you want to do all right guys let's try the hammer here I don't want to smash my finger either. All right, guys, I think this should work just fine. Usually with all things, they work pretty good. Um, give me a minute, guys. I'm going to flip the camera around facing me. Okay. And, guys, yeah, I did get a haircut, so that's even better. Hmm. 
Maybe I put it in wrong last. I don't know what I did, but we're gonna see if we can just hammer it in there. Sometimes you can give them a little tap and they'll go right on in. Sometimes you can. You just have to tap this with the hammer. You know a minute. Is I have to go find a screwdriver because obviously I'm not doing something correct. We'll get that back in there and get back in order. So let's stick for a screwdriver next. We have screwdrivers around here. I know we do. So just to clarify that I have what I need, I'm going to get me a screwdriver now. There's never a time that I don't have what I need around here. I do have it, but... I just have to get it. I think that'll work. Yeah, that should do just fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this back in the right way. I'm pretty sure once I get this cover off here, it'll probably be like it's clockwork. Usually once you have to do a bottom car for a vacuum, you have to take it off. And these all dirt dowels, they can be tricky. Don't get me wrong, they can be. It's not that they're not, they can be. They'll give you a run for their they'll give you a run for your money and you work on them, guys. The best thing about this dirt towel is it's built to last. And that calling the, the, the multi-surface junk, it's pretty good. Really good, in fact. I've got a video of that for you guys today too. I'll be uploading. Just gotta work on this thing right now. Like I said, guys, I have to get this thing. Back in operating order. Is all. Once you realize what you missed on the vacuum, guys, you can easily correct it. Like most things, you have to just sit back and figure out what did I, what did I miss, what did I not do. Once you figure out what you missed, it's all it pretty much comes to you naturally, guys. What you what you fail to do and what you didn't get, you know. Well, there you go. That was too tight in here. All right, guys, we're gonna work on getting this thing back together again. Yeah, it'll be probably a quick fix, guys. I'm pretty sure most of the time they are quick fixes. Just gonna put our screws on the floor so we know where they're at. And we don't lose anything in the process of fighting with it. Those dirt dowels, they never cooperate, guys. They're just stubborn vacuums. Some of them can be. Um, just let me just tip this thing forward to get this out. We have one more screw off, guys, and that's it. All right, I think we have them all out, guys. So here you go. All these screws are. Oh wait, take that back. There's only one I forgot. One little, one little bugger right in here. Now we can go ahead and get her out. Alright guys, now we can get to it. 
All right, guys, let's see if we can figure out what we're doing here. And she won't go in. Okay, guys, rather apparently here, I missed the step here. A little whack with a hammer even help here. You make I gotta tap that in place in one minute. I'll tap it right into that little hole there. supposed to is far right and out of there. Let's see you guys, maybe I can reverse it and put a different route. that way All right, yeah, I think I might have got it, I think. Let's see. If it falls right on out, then we know it's going to fight me tooth and nail for what it's worth on paper. You know, it's just never, a, never an easy time with these damn things. Look at that, guys. Fucking just, like I said, fucking falling apart. Ah, fuck. I like to have the, the, the height adjuster wheels on there, guys, because it works better that way. You know, it's, that's how it was intended to be made. Oh, guys, I think it might stay in temporarily. Let's see. Probably won't be a, a long fix, I'm sure. But I'm sure it's going to fall right back out. So, place your bets right now. I give it probably a minute, less than a minute, and it falls right back out of the cleaner, guys. But I want to keep my place clean. So, Snippy wants to have a clean apartment. What a dirty one. Um, be nice so I could find the other. Well, I can know where the hole's at. I just got to put it in there. All right, guys. I basically fixed it as best as I could. Now, if it falls out, I do understand that it falls out. It's not my doing. The vacuum is probably old. 
So you see right where I put the hammer is to show you is the reference or anything. That's right there. And that's right there. So, see? I think it's staying in there. So you guys, that ain't going to fit right like it's supposed to be. I'm um, getting one second, guys. All right, guys, I don't think it's going to... If it falls out, it falls out. It is what it is for the day. All right, guys, let's see how this works out. Probably, I know it's not going to stay in there. I just wish I had another Dirt Devil Plus, Dynamite Plus for you guys to show you. You know, this one's not perfect, but it still works, so I'm not going to complain. You see, you can complain about the situation on the vacuum, but it ain't going to fix it, you know. Um... I was watching this morning, guys, on cartoons. I was watching the... And I grew up watching them as a kid. Ooh. I grew up watching Popeye. So I was watching Popeye this morning. My favorite iconic um, cartoon character of all of them. Popeye is definitely one of them. But my top, my top favorite is my channel name, Charlie Brown. My favorite character in Charlie Brown is Charlie Brown and his dog Snoopy. So that's how Snoopy's RC became to be. I've always liked the cartoon ever since I've seen it as a kid growing up. Give me one minute so I can get that back in there. And guys, place your guesstimation, but as soon as this thing goes down... I know the height adjuster wheels are at fault right off the bottom. So yeah. Won't surprise me in the slightest bit. But it is what it is, right? Yep. Pretty much. It's what it is. I just wanted to fix it so when I vacuum, I'll glide across the carpet. For right now, it's going to work. All right, guys. Here we go. Screwdriver and hammer back away. Yeah, yeah. 
guys. Perfect. Well, it looks like I was successful at fixing it, guys, so that's even better. The one something Scoopy did actually work. Huh. The one try I did is actually successful, huh? Ain't that nice? I think the hammer technique actually worked pretty good. You can use a hammer on a vacuum, guys. You just have to gently tap it in place. You don't want to beat on it too hard to break anything, you know? Never get too hard on the vacuum with the hammer, guys. You can break the plants yourself. When I did that, I definitely gave her some taps, some light taps on the bottom to get her on there. Yeah, guys, I know the video's going a bit longer, so we're going to wrap this up in a real second here. We'll be done for the day. But I need to vacuum anyways, guys. I'm getting dirty in here. I think I'm tired of stepping on dirt and getting it on my feet, guys, you know? Scoopy likes to... Oh, there you go. There you go. Scoopy likes to keep this small too. Sorry about that. We lost sight of the vacuum for a minute. But yeah, guys, Scoopy likes to keep this floor really clean. Ooh. Something got it there. Hear that, guys? Robin? And guys, look at that. Still intact. Look at that even. Huh. You see, I did something correctly. Or rather being obviously, I know I did. So I didn't. It wouldn't be... It still wouldn't be pick up all the dirt like it's supposed to be. Success at last. I think that's what was rubbing there, guys. Let's see. Let's see if we can find what it was. Probably that little string. But guys, we fixed it. It might fall off there, but I can always put it back on. So, I like about the vacuum, guys. Durability. Look at that. Still in taxi. So all I gotta do is give her a little push back in place. See, look. And just like that, she's in. Now... You're going to ask me, what am I going to do? Well, I have an idea. The age-old question, what are you going to do, Snoopy, to make that stay on there? Well, I've been thinking. And yeah, I've been thinking about that. How am I going to make it stay in place? There's a few ways. One is electrical tape. Let's see if I can get the gumption and the nails to get this piece off of here. Put a couple pieces on the bottom, guys, and maybe she'll stay intact, huh? Let's see. Usually, I don't have any duct tape, guys, so I would definitely use duct tape, but I don't got it. So, I can't use what I don't physically have. Um, we're going to have to use a little bit of ingenuity for this one. Yeah, so today's keyword, ingenuity. Now, I know you're going to wonder why am I doing electrical tape? Because it's the next best thing to get this to work. So let's see here. Okay. We are going to work on this, guys. I'm not about to give up that easily in the little high adjuster bracket, so let's go ahead here and get some light going. You guys don't need to have dark, near the eye. In order to be successful, we have to have light. So, Whoa. Get 
Guys, the older you get, the smarter you get, I think, is usually what it is. It all amounts to how smart you get when you get older, you know, how how much do you learn in life that you can use it, you know. And guys, you're going to be surprised what I can do with this thing. I'm going to use a couple pieces extra of electrical on each side, so... The one that got all bunched up and wrinkled up, and I could use that tape because it's going to be the weak point. So, we're going to do some tapage. And guys, I'm going to show you what I'm doing after it's done. So don't say, oh, I would like to see. Well, y'all see in a minute. I have to have two hands free right now to... For those of you, and I'm sure Arbuck Lover 1618 would totally agree... You ain't got duct tape, and I don't have any super glue. I would surely use electrical tape. This is not for outside use, so our chances of this working are pretty good. I think we'll be really successful at what we do. I'm going to layer it on there nice and good. A couple layers of tape to help it stay in there. couple pieces go a long ways to help it stay in and stay intact so with all that being said guys let's go ahead here and get her together there like i said guys i'm giving it a i'm giving it a a great chance at staying together I'm using electrical tape, yes, but I think this will last. Now, keep this in mind, guys. Snoopy knows a lot of things how to fix vacuums. Okay, so. Snoopy's going to show. So, you guys, look right there. Look right there. I went across. Into the side. Now I think that's pretty good. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give her a try, shall we? Oh, oh. well, let's give her up. Let's get her up on her wheels and get her going and see what she does. You guys, I think this is going to be success. Here we go. Hell's rattling, guys. I think a piece of dirt. Yeah, there's a piece of junk in there. Yeah, it's rubbish off the floor. That's what it was. I think I got it now. Let's see. Let's turn back on, make sure that rubbing's gone. All right, guys, let's take her for a test drive and see how she is. <sighs> All right. Let me go ahead and give it a try, guys. Let's see. College try. Well, we're in better shape, guys. Yeah, guys. Wow. Much better. All right, guys. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And Stoopy fixed it by using electrical tape for the height adjuster carpet wheels. And it was a smashing success. Hope you all enjoy that.